god forehead's looking particularly large today that's great just wait for that plane to go past i wish there was me hey guys it is katie how are you welcome to my channel i need a new introduction now that i can't say hey guys it's katie from the zanty bible like i need a new thing what should i say i don't know ignore the fact i'm literally sitting on the floor Truthfully, I'm sat here because I look best in this lighting, so. If you have clicked onto this video, I'm going to assume that you want to do a season in Zanti. I have done five seasons in Zanti, my first one being 2019, and my final one being Summer Just Gone 2023. So I'm definitely qualified to talk about this subject. <laughs> I asked you guys on my TikTok to ask me questions that you were querying about how to do a season, accommodation, etc. So I've got a big notes list on here and I'm going to be covering it all for you. I'm going to talk about my experience first, what I did, how I got my jobs, accommodation, etc. Then I'm going to be covering about workers companies and how to get accommodation. And then I'm going to talk about jobs, what jobs are available, how to get them. And then I'm just going to be answering some like general questions that I got. So oh, this background is so dead, isn't it? Oh, well, I'm only a new YouTuber, guys. I'm just getting into it. Without further ado, I'm just going to get straight into it. I started doing seasons in, in the summer of 2019 when I was 19 years of age. I had started university and I had this big long summer and I didn't really know what to do with it. All I knew was that I definitely didn't want to work in England and I'd been on four party holidays before this point and I just decided that I wanted to work in Zanti. But what I did was obviously did a little Google search, how to work in Zanti and a load of different workers companies came up. I went with workers' family. I think I put a deposit down. I paid for three months of accommodation before the season. I paid 600 pounds. And then I just booked a one-way flight. I'm gonna talk a bit later on about what different jobs I did and how I got them. But yeah, I absolutely loved it. Decided to come back a following year and another year and another year. One thing I will say about doing seasons is that it is extremely addictive. Like, I never thought when I was 19 and just thought I'm gonna do a season that I would end up being there five years later. Like, it's a bit mad. So yeah, I went with a workers' company and I went with two of my friends from home and I ended up staying for two months. Second year, I sorted out my accommodation beforehand and I flew out with people that I'd met in my previous season. And then the following three seasons, I stayed in that same accommodation and flew out on my own. So I've done a bit of everything. My first two seasons, I worked in just random jobs. And my third three seasons is when I started doing the Zanti Bible. And I will talk later on about how I got those jobs and the pay and all of that jazz. So if you're watching this video and you really want to do a Zanti season, but you don't really know where to start, if it's gonna be your first season working there, I personally would recommend going with one of these workers' companies. Literally, just type into Google, Zanti workers' companies, and loads of different ones come up. Just to name a few that I know off the top of my head, there's workers' family, summer takeover, rep room, ace workers, there's a lot of confusion about what workers companies actually do, so I will explain that now. Essentially, a workers company will sort out your accommodation for you. You will probably have one or two reps that will kind of look after you over the summer. Uh, you can go to them with any questions. Um, and they will add you into a big workers group chat before the summer started so that you can meet the people that you're kind of going to be living with. I can't really recommend one company over another because it's been five years since I went with one, so I can't give an honest opinion. They all pretty much do the same thing. They just own different accommodations on the strip, to be honest. The reason that I recommend people go with a workers' company for their first season is because obviously they sort out your accommodation for you, which would be very difficult for you to do if you didn't already have connections in Zanti. That's definitely a pro. 
The second pro is that if you are wanting to go out on your own, it's really nice to be added to that big workers group chat so you can kind of meet a few familiar faces before you fly out. So I personally went with workers family in 2019 and I went with two friends and we requested before we went out that we could be put in a room together. So yeah, we were put in a room together, which was really good. I know some people were wondering whether you could go with a friend. So yeah, you can, I mean, in my case, yeah, I went with two friends and we were put in a room together, but it was a room of five. Those are kind of like the good parts of going with a workers' company. And then there are a few cons as well. The cons I would say is that, well, first of all, the price has gone up massively. As I said earlier, I paid £600 before the season started for three months worth of accommodation. And I'm pretty sure now you're gonna be paying 600 pounds for just one month of accommodation with these companies. So there's another aeroplane. I'm jealous. Also, I would say that these accommodations aren't the best to say the very least. I literally stayed in some horrendous, horrendous accommodations. It was like living in a bush took a trial. The first accommodation that they moved me into was a room of five. So although I was with my two friends, there was also two strangers in there. We didn't have cleaners, didn't get clean sheets. The room was filthy. Um, so if you can't hack that lifestyle, just don't do it. I was like 19 and didn't care and yeah, I'm not stush like that. I kind of just saw it as a place to sleep. I certainly couldn't do that now that I'm 23, but back in the day, I didn't really care. And then also another con was that they moved me out of my accommodation a few times. I think I moved accommodation five times in my first season, and that was only in the space of two months. I mean, this might not happen anymore, but that was just my personal experience. Also, this is one of the biggest pre preconceptions misconceptions about workers companies is that they will help you get a job they won't that is not what they're there to do they can tell you if somewhere's hiring but if you want to go out and get a job in Zanti you do have to go out and do that on your own you can't rely on the reps to get you a job you have to rely on yourself so I know it says workers company and you'd kind of assume yeah they're going to get me a job they won't that's down to you sis so if you don't like the idea of booking with a workers company, your other option would be to book accommodation separately. It would be difficult for a first season worker to find that accommodation because all of the accommodations that I got into after my first season was through word of mouth and just through people that I'd met out there. There are Facebook workers pages where some people do advertise accommodations, but if you're not a recurring worker, and people haven't met you, I don't know how likely it is that landlords will trust you with their accommodation. But if you went on your own and booked your own accommodation, separate from a workers company, you would save a lot of money. For my final four seasons, I stayed in the same accommodation in the same room because it was like half decent. So I locked onto it and I did not let my landlord give it to anyone else. But that room started at 200 a month obviously the price of everything has gone up. So it ended up being 350 a month for this summer, but we did get aircon and we did get a cleaner. And that might not sound like much, but in workers accommodation, having a cleaner and aircon included is like best thing ever. So yeah, obviously you're paying like double to live in workers accommodation that isn't that nice, but you do get the advantages of, you know, having the reps, the group chats, Although I stayed in some awful accommodations, I'm not gonna lie, they were so much fun. It was like big buildings just full of workers and everyone, it was, there was just never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. I couldn't do it now, but I could definitely do it when I was a teenager. So I'm not gonna sit here and list uh, the different accommodations in Zanti because I know that a lot of them are fully booked every single year for reoccurring workers. My biggest advice would just be go out there with a workers company, potentially only book a month or something, and then just speak to everyone. You never know who you're gonna meet and who you're gonna get on with. Like for example, in my first season, I ended up moving so many times because I was moving in with new friends or I moved in with colleagues. So yeah, my biggest advice would just be go out there, speak to as many people as possible and find out where the good accommodations are there are people coming and going from Santee all the time, so it's really likely that 
a nice space in a different accommodation might come up and you can just jump in there. Now, in terms of flights, I would always recommend just booking a one way. All five of my Zanti seasons, I literally just booked a one way flight and winged it. You never know whether you need to go home early. You never know if you're not gonna enjoy it and you might wanna go home early. It's just safer and it will save you money just to just book a one way and just wing it. My last point for accommodation is a lot of people ask me, do you pay for your own accommodation? So yeah, every single year I paid for my own accommodation. It's not likely that whoever hires you is gonna pay for your accommodation unless you're like a special guest or a dancer. And most workers out in Zanti do pay for their own accommodation. That's just how it is. That's how it's always been. Some companies pay for their ticket sellers to stay all summer, but it really depends what job you do and who you work for. Okay, so now I'm gonna be talking about jobs. There are so many different jobs in Zanti. PR, so PRs are those people that stand outside the bars and clubs and will try and like coax you in with drink steals. You know, the ones that like pester you on the street. That's a PR. You can do bar work, VIP host, shop girl, ticket seller, content creator, DJ, videographer, photographer, waitress. There's loads of options. Rep, you could be a rep. So my first two seasons, I flew out with no job, no plan and managed to find jobs really easily. And then in my second season was when I got offered the job for Zanti Bible. So my following three years, I had a job lined up for when I flew out. There are ways that you can apply for jobs online before the season starts. I wouldn't say this is necessary. I don't think you need to stress over the winter about finding yourself a job before flying out. It's really, really easy to get a job out there. Like I literally had no problems my first two summers. The earlier you come out in the season, the more likely you are to get one of the better jobs with one of the better companies, because obviously you're one of the first people there. So the good ones do kind of get nabbed up straight away. Nabbed up, does that make sense? So the best paying jobs are any jobs in which you can get commission. So ticket selling is a really good job if you wanna earn money. Uh, VIP host and shop girl, it depends where you work, but some of these, some of the places will give you commission on how many bottles or shots that you sell. The jobs like waiters, PRs, they're not gonna be paying so much. So it really depends on whether you're going out to do a season to get pissed and have a good time or whether you wanna make money. Ticket selling is a really hard job because you're working literally all day in the sun, but I've known people to come back with serious, serious money from doing this job but obviously they can't go out every night and get drunk because they've got to be up to sell tickets every single day. So it really depends how disciplined you are. I know that they're quite strict on ticket sellers, like you might get put on a drinking ban if you're late to work um, or you're not meeting your targets. The pros and cons of being a PR is that it's a really sociable job. You only work at the night. You get to drink on the job as well, but you will be looking at like 30 euro to 50 euro a night, depending on where you work. It depends on whether you want to come back with money or you just want to go out there to have a good time. If you don't like the idea of flying out without a job, my best advice in finding jobs before you go out would just be to follow all of the clubs and bars or companies that you're interested in working for on social media. Probably Instagram is probably the best one because throughout the winter they'll start advertising if they are taking applicants. So just make sure you keep checking their stories over the winter and then you can apply before the summer starts. A lot of people ask me if you need like any experience to do a season. The answer to that is no. You don't need to bring a CV out. You just need to bring yourself, bring confidence and you will be completely fine. If you've got a bubbly, chatty, charismatic personality, finding a job in Zanti will be a piece of piss. So, yeah. So now I'm gonna be talking about what jobs I've done and how I got them. So my first season, I was the VIP hostess and shop girl at Sizzle. I did four hours a night and I was paid 20 euro and then I got five euro per bottle that I sold and 50 cent per shot that I sold. I absolutely loved this job because it was only four hours a night. By the way, if you work in Zanti, you're expected to work every day. You don't get any days off whatsoever. Just putting that out there. So obviously like four hours a night was nothing. And I kind of just used my job as a way to pre-drink before going out after. Cause I think I finished at like 2 a.m 
which was obviously the night is just beginning in Zanti at 2am and I was allowed three drinks per shift and you know in peak season I could make serious money off those shots and how I got that job was basically, I don't know whether this is a common thing anymore, but back in 2019, the Facebook workers pages were so active, like all of the managers would post if they were hiring. And I just saw that my manager at the time had posted, I'm hiring, blah, blah, blah. So I just messaged him on Facebook and I said, hey, like I've got VIP experience. Can I come and chat to you about a job possibility? Possibly or like a job opportunity, that's it. And he was like, yeah, come and speak to me tonight. So I went and met him and then he gave me a trial shift and then I got the job. It was as easy as that. It was literally the first job that I tried to apply for and I got it straight away. So that was great. If you've got Facebook, it's definitely worth joining them. Just type in Zanti workers group and loads of them will come up and yeah. And then my second season was a COVID season. So, only open air venues were open, like the clubs and stuff weren't open and events weren't really happening. So jobs were tight, all right? They were hard to find. It's a really funny story about how I got my second job. Basically, I was offered a trial shift by a Greek man. And I thought he meant at Infinity Beach Club when actually he meant at a different venue. There was a miscommunication. I don't really know what happened. So that night I went to Infinity Beach Club. I turned up and I'm like, Hey guys, I'm here for my trial shift. No one batted an eyelid. Literally, I did the trial shift and afterwards they were like, yeah, you've got the job. And I was like, get in. And then I get a message from that Greek man and he's like, Katie, where were you for your trial shift today? And I was like, what do you mean? I'm literally still here. And he was like, where are you? And I was like, at the beach club. And he was like, you've gone to the wrong place for a trial shift. I mean, I wouldn't recommend this, but essentially I turned up to a random venue and told everyone I had a trial shift when I didn't. And that's how I got the job. If you're feeling a bit risky, just turn up somewhere you fancy working and convince everyone you've got a trial shift. Then that summer I was offered the job for Zanti Bible. And loads of people always ask me like, how did I get the job with Zanti Bible? It was down to luck and my charm, obviously. I was meant to be working for the Zanti Bible events that summer, but they didn't happen because of COVID. I knew of the owner of Zanti Bible anyway. We knew each other because I was meant to be working for them for events. And I'm in Cherry Bay, drunk, obviously, and I'm having a conversation with him. And he's like, I really need someone to be the face of my brand. Because at the time there was no face of Zanti Bible. And I was like, hello, like pick me, I volunteer. <laughs> And he was like, right, we'll talk tomorrow when we're sober. So the next day we went, we met up and I said, like, I've got a media degree, I'm confident in front of a camera. And he gave me the job. So what advice I'd give to you guys would be literally book a one-way flight, speak to everyone. Like, if you wanna go and work in Cherry Bay, go to Cherry Bay, get friendly with all of the staff. Like that is the best way to get a job out there is just putting yourself out there. All three of my jobs was just down to me just going up to people and going, hey, I wanna work with you. And now that I've covered like accommodation and jobs, uh, I'm gonna be answering just some random questions that you guys asked me. So someone asked, do you stay longer than 90 days? Now, if you don't know about the 90 day rule, it's definitely worth a Google search because I don't really understand it myself and I'm not even gonna bother trying to explain it. Well, I will a little bit. So basically, because of Brexit, if you've got a British passport, you can't travel around Europe for more than 90 days in the space of 180 days. It doesn't make sense to me either, but basically you can't stay in Zanti for longer than 90 days without getting a fine unless you have a visa. So personally, I have never stayed in Zanti longer than 90 days. So I haven't. I know a lot of people that have stayed over 90 days. A few of them have been fined and a few of them have got away with it. So it's very hit and miss. I don't know. It's just down to you whether you wanna risk getting that fine or not. What's the average time staying in Zanti? So the season starts in May and it finishes in September, but obviously because of this 90 day rule, most people just go out from June till August because those are the peak months that are the busiest. But if you wanna get first dibs on the best jobs, I would recommend going in May. Do you get to drink on the job? So with this one, it really depends what job you do. 
Most of my jobs, I did drink on the job. Like I said earlier, when I worked at Sizzle, I was allowed three drinks per night. And then when I was a waitress at the beach club, I, uh, I was allowed to have a drink, but I didn't because I was waitressing and it was hard work. So it wasn't really worth it drinking because I'd probably sweat it all away anyway. And then Zanti Bible. My job was Zanti Bible. There was no cap on drinks and I got free drinks in Cherry Bay and all the events. So I was, yeah, I was drinking drinking <laughs> but there are some jobs where you'll be encouraged to drink like a pr um bar staff drink a little bit but not crazy amounts ticket sellers you're allowed to obviously go out of a night and get drunk but if you're not into work for the next day then you can be put on a drinking ban it depends what job you do and it also depends who you work for like some places are a lot more stricter than others what was your job with the Zanti Bible? So my job was the content creator and presenter and just the general face. I also did ticket selling on the side throughout the winter. Someone asked, what clothes and makeup do you bring? So clothes wise, literally just a load of swimwear and then going out clothes. You know how like on Love Island, all of the islanders just either wear bikinis or they're dressed to the nines at night time. That's what I'd say Zanti's like. Don't You don't really need to bring that many normal clothes. Everyone walks into restaurants and stuff in their bikinis in Zanti. So yeah, just loads and loads and loads of swimwear. And in terms of makeup, I just bring my normal makeup bag from home, but I switch foundation for BB cream because foundation is just a bit much in that heat. Someone asked me what's the best and worst parts about doing a season. So... The best part about doing a season is definitely the people and just the experience in general. It is so much fun. Like there are no two days that are the same. You meet friends for life. Like the friends that I've made in Zanti are truly my best friends. They're like my second family. It is so much fun and you meet people from all walks of life. The cons I would say is just that the lifestyle can be very, very draining. I'm really lucky that I'm a proper social butterfly and I love being around people. But if you're quite introverted and you like your own space, doing a season would be a struggle. Like you're constantly around people. You don't really get two minutes to yourself. And obviously drinking every day, it does take it out of you. Like when I was 19, I would be out every single night, not bothered. But now I'm 23, like, it was catching up on me for a bit like and then by the end of the season you literally look like a shell of yourself Every time I come back from Zanti my mum's like, oh my god, what's wrong with you? Like you look awful <laughs> Someone asked can you go out with friends? Yeah, you can definitely go out with friends One thing I will say is that it is probably difficult for you to get a job with your friend A lot of people will come out with like their best friend and they'll be like we want to get a job together That is quite difficult because a lot of places will only be hiring for one person. So I will say, yeah, come out with your friends, but don't expect to work with them necessarily because it will narrow your job options down massively. How do you maintain a smooth bikini line? Waxing, waxing is the way to go. Like, I swear by it. I have this little Greek lady in Zanti who would do it for me. I miss her so much. So just to round off all the points I've made in this video, if you wanna do a season, this is what you're gonna do. Decide whether you want to book through a worker's company or go on your own. If you book with a worker's company, I'd recommend just booking a month and seeing how it goes. But yeah, first step is just sorting that, sorting where you're gonna stay out. Second of all is booking a one-way flight. Don't bother about booking a return home. Third one is finding a job. Don't worry about finding one beforehand, but if you do want to find one beforehand, make sure you follow all of the social media pages and apply through there. When you get to Zanti, just put yourself out there, meet, speak to everyone, message people, get yourself to clubs, introduce yourself to managers, and you will be fine. Honestly, it's not as scary as it sounds. Everyone in Zanti is so friendly. Everyone's out there for the same reason. I would say that it is probably the easiest place to make friends, so don't even be scared about going on your own if you're going on your own. So yeah, I think that's all the questions for now. If there's anything that I missed, just comment it in the comment section. I'll either reply to the comments or I'll do a part two because I know there's definitely some stuff that I missed. Doing seasons has been the most amazing thing I've ever done. It has grown my confidence so massively. Like I've made the most amazing memories. And if you're thinking of doing it, I would just say, just do it. 
just book a month and try it. If, it. if you don't like it, you're only there for a month anyway. At least you've got a bit of sun. Do you know what I mean? But you'll probably end up falling in love with it and still there five years later like I was. <laughs> okay, so if you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And I really want to start getting into YouTube, but I just don't know what kind of videos to do. So if you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to see from me next, then please leave them in the comments and I will have a little look. And yeah, subscribe. Because I think I've got about 11 subscribers at the moment. It's just... It's not great, is it? Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.